Hello, YouTube. Hey, YouTube, what's going on? Uh, hold on. Let me, uh, focus. Get the focus going on this main thing. Eh. Now. Hello. Yeah, this might not be great quality, but I try. So. Let's go. And today, as you have guessed by the title, we're going to be playing South Park, The Stick of Truth. So hold on, let me get a proper intro here. We're back. Alright. Let's go. Now, I've already kind of started. Hold on, we'll start from the beginning. Be right back. Alright, we're back. So let's do it. Please ignore all the background noises. It's Robert T. Pooner, a Pooner Pictures production. Deep in the land of Zara, the humans of Kuba King struggle to stay alive as they are attacked by the wicked travelers of Zardia. Darkness falls as the humans beg their king to save them, a noble king known only as the Grand Wizard. For a thousand years the battle has been waged, with only the bravery of the Grand Wizard to protect his human followers. But even though the Wizard King is so undeniably true, the Drow Elf armies continue their attack. They seek the human's most treasured remnant, the Stick of Truth. But the tides of war do change. As news of a new king spreads throughout the land, in order to save the humans, the Grand Wizard must get to the new king before the Drow Elves can manipulate his hand and use him to take the sacred relics of human hands. For whomever controls the state controls the universe. Alright, so I'm really pumped for this. I mean, I've already played it, but I'm really pumped to just show you guys this game. I know you've probably seen it from PewDiePie. Or Toby Turner, but um, I just want to give you guys my own experience. So, Yeah, that's good. Give him a little scar on his eye. Make him up keel. Alright, so let's go, bro. Like, like normal kids. 
We've got some money for you on the kitchen counter, sweetie. Just be back before it gets dark. Alright. Yeah, we love you too. Alright, uh. Ah, yeah, let's do this, dude. Let's see what's that. What? Never been in here before. Two dollars. You are this close to a timeout. What? Don't oh, give me a timeout. Come on, dude. That isn't nice, sweetie. No, no. Whatever. They punched Dad. Knock it off! Ouch! That's enough. Yeah, all right, whatever you say. It wasn't a request. It was a command. Now get out there and make some friends. Okay. Just gonna go out there as soon as I was done. But yeah, you dick. He reminds me of my real dad, except he's not like nearly as nice as some boys. You tell dad that I want him, Yeah, uh, I banish me to the forest realm. That way, I banish you first. Aha! Hey, don't fair. That's cheating. I'm gonna tell my mom. Thanks, kid. I didn't realize he had a health potion. Uh, my name is Butters the Merciful. I'm a pilot. I live right next door to you. We should be friends. Okay. Butters. Yeah, alright. I wanna get that some Pokemon. Alright, let's just go. Let's just go. Where'd you live before moving here? Uh, no, your business. Why don't you guys see this? Oh, hail the Grand Wizard! So, you are the new kid. Your coming was foretold by Coldwell Banker. I am the Wizard King. But the time for talk is not now. Let me show you my kingdom. Oh, who's your new friend, Eric? Shut up, Mom. Not now. Diabetes. And here, of course, is the breathtaking and lovely Princess King, the fairest maiden in all the kingdom. Dang, Don't girl. You fine. Kitty's my favorite character, though, just to be, just to get that clear on. You may have heard of my deeds at the Battle of Stark's Pot. Yeah, Clyde's a reference list. Let's talk to Malcolmson. My loyalty is as incurable as my diabetes. Okay. Pool of vision. Rock him and say. Hey, where the hell are you going? No. Let's talk to Kitty. Yeah. Oh, that's a quest. As court paladin, my job is to deliver the Wizard King's justice and his mail. You have been sought out, new kid, because humans everywhere. I'll find a flower later. I need something from you, and in return, I am prepared to allow you into my kingdom. I know you are very excited. It's time for your first quest, but first, please tell us thy name. Uh... Douchebag. You entered Douchebag, is that correct? Are you sure you want to keep the name douchebag? Very well. 
everything. You will now choose a class. Fighter, mage, thief, or jew. Oh, a wow. A, a, white, a mage is like a wizard, only not as cute. A white fighter? Haven't seen a good one of those in a while. A mage is like a wizard. You look sneaky enough to be a thief. Hi, I want to see what that trophy is for. I'm gonna pick you. I'm gonna pick you just for the heck of it. I'm a thief on my other group. Oh. Yeah. This ain't. I'm not gonna be censoring the bad parts. You're just gonna see those. Come on. PlayStation loads like freaking. There we go. I don't even see what that was for. There we go. Alright, let's pick you. It's you, huh? So I guess we'll never really be friends. A white a mage is like a wizard, only a fighter has courage, honor, and the ability to kick fucking ass. A mage is like a wizard, you look sneaky enough to be a thief. It's you, huh? So I guess we'll never really be friends. <laughs> Welcome to the KKK Douchebag to Jew, who probably can also handle our finances. Hooray! Now please, go and visit the weapon shop. Procure yourself a weapon and we shall teach you to fast. Alright, I'm a Jew. Would you like to see my wares, weary traveler? Perhaps you would like to hear. Ah, uh, what? Is it? Ah, a lovely purchase. That's good. Ah, you have procured a weapon. Yes. It's now time to teach you how to fight. I want you to take your new weapon and, with the bravery of a noble knight, beat up that. What? King Clyde's ass, new kid. What I do? I'm the King Clyde, and the King wishes to be a new. Go on, new kid, give me that. Oh, we gotta be at level 14, eh? Hey. Okay. Alright, let's I get it. Kick your ass. Clyde, you have to wait your turn. That's late. No, Clyde, it's like olden times. You have to wait your turn. Like in the Middle Ages, Clyde. I know it's late, Clyde, but that's how we're fucking doing it. Killed it, dude.
The reason why humans and elves are locked in a never-ending war. The relic for which human and elf are willing to die. The stick of truth. Just two days ago, we took the stick back from the elves. Our kingdom was dying, but now it thrives. For whoever controls the stick controls the universe. Don't gaze at it too loud, for its power is too much for mere mortals to look at. Now that you have seen the stick of truth, let's discuss your views. Being a member of my kingdom costs nine ninety five for the first week. Four dollars of which is tax deductible. <laughs> Someone has shouted the alarm! Alarm, alarm, alarm! What is it? The elves are attacking! Oh my god! The princess was attacked! Orc has a strap on. That's this. Show your mode. Get back! Come help us! Play on. Says he's a crap load of attack. Hitting the cat. Let's go. You got this. Oh, shit. What are you waiting for, you Swing your David in. Great job, douchebag! Kick their asses, new kid! I got the back! 
Something's wrong with the sky. Alright. Oh no, Reaper Stig! Okay, that guy has a shield. Shields are super weak. Just hit them with your simplest head over and over to wear them down quickly. There we go. Grass is grass, man. Alright. Yep. Clyde, you are hereby banished from space and time. What? No, you can't do that. Yeah, I can. You're banished and lost in time and space. Yeah, go home, Clyde. You fought bravely on the battlefield, big bag. Yeah, you can make your new bag, but you can't fight. So that guy doesn't care anything. Anyways, we have a bigger problem now. The stick of truth has been stolen, and we must assemble our entire army in order to get it back. But the stick of truth still hasn't been reported for duty. I knew it's never to take care of that. Look, she's bleeding. She looked them off. You need to help me. Come on, guys, be right back. See ya for part two.